Hi, I'm John Matthews with Matthews Marketing Systems, and today I'm going to tell you some of the key features and offer some tips for our Imperia controller and how to make them work best with our series of equipment. So let's look at some of the key features of the Imperia controller, such as your ability to create and edit messages directly on your controller, as well as your ability to create and edit messages over on your PC with the Imperia creator, and in real time, make changes over here on your controller. You also have the ability to control and talk with other equipment on your production line, and the ability to control a virtually unlimited amount of print heads on this one controller with an expand license. So let's take a closer look. So we currently have two L1s, an L12, and a T-Series on our line today. So I'm going to show you how to install our T-Series as if it's a brand new installation. So selecting configuration, print heads, you want to select new installation. Now this is the area where if you have multiple lines, you want to name your line so you know what line you're working with. So for instance, we are working on our demo line. On the second screen, you'll select what equipment you're installing. We are installing T-Series. On this third screen, it's what you name your print head. If you have more than one of the same print head on the line, you can name them differently so you always can keep track of what you're changing. For ours, we're working with a T50 and we only have one. The Imperia will automatically detect the T-Series that we have connected and will install it. Looking from behind the print head to the conveyor, you'll determine what direction of flow you're working with. In this case, we're going left to right. And then you need to measure the distance from the photo cell to the edge of the print head. And in our case, we're one inch. And then you need to determine how far into the box you want the print to be located. So for this example, I'm going to use three inches. And we do not need a second marker. Now it tells us these three triggers are connected, but we only need our T50 trigger. If you have an encoder, this is where you can install it. But in our case, we're using a fixed speed of 65 feet per minute. And then this screen is just reminding you, you need to open your vent cap and insert the filter. Otherwise, you'll run into issues. Finish. Now, as you can see, our T-Series is installed. So now let's create a message for our T-Series print head that we just installed. Select Editor, Create Message. And it's going to ask you what equipment this is for. And so our, our installation we named Demo is for our T-Series. I'm going to leave it on Automatic Width and hit Create. Tap anywhere on the screen and it'll ask you what you want to insert, text, barcode, images, or a vector graphic. For this instance, I'm going to insert text. And I'm going to insert colony packaging. And by hint hitting the enter, that'll drop it down to create a second line automatically. And I'm going to insert a variable. We don't have any variables created, so I'm going to create a new one. And this is going to be my product name.
and my value, I'm just going to set it at some random numbers of 7890. Okay. And now you can see our variable's been entered. Then we want to include a counter. We don't have any counters created, so I just want a counter of between one and a thousand. And then we want to include our date code. And I'm just going to select out of our many date codes, this one. And now we're set up and I will hit OK. But just clicking and dragging, I can move my message anywhere. If you click down here in the bottom right corner, you can change your font or you can change whether or not it's bold, italicized, anything. I'll hit this plus arrow and increase my font size. So that way we can get the maximum print height of two inches on this print head. And as you can see, our print is going to be just over nine inches wide. If you come down here to the bottom left and hit info, you can insert your ink information. For this instance, we have a 500 millimeter bottle and the cost will just estimate to be about 175. And this gives us for the print that we just created a cost of 0 0.0036 cents per mark with over 48,000 prints. I'm going to close that and save. And I'm just going to label this as T50 Demo. Close. So now let's see how our message looks on the box. By hitting select message, I can select our T50 demo print and hit OK. As you see, our L12 is currently running. I will hit stop and I'll start our T50 print. So on the Imperia, you have the ability under maintenance, messages, to import any messages you had created previously and want to pull over to this controller. In this instance, I don't have any a USB installed, so I can't install any messages. But you can create a message on the Imperia Creator or the Imperia Simulator and save them to a flash drive and pull them over here. A colony service tech or sales rep can create those messages and preload those for you. Cool. Under maintenance, if there is a font that we don't have that you need, you can import a new font. Same with an image, shift codes, or number formats. Additionally, under configuration, if you don't want your operator to have certain access under user levels, you can determine who has access to what settings within the Imperia controller. For instance, if your messages have a variable such as a product name, and you only want the operator to be able to adjust that variable that you've created so that that message format doesn't get altered, you're able to lock them down so they cannot edit a message, but they can change the variable that's entered. By simply coming to the overview screen and selecting the variables. Now that variable is the only thing that can be changed on that message. So just as a reminder, Matthew's Marketing Systems does not have maintenance contracts on our equipment. Reach out to Colony Packaging to find out how this equipment will fit into your line.
Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe below. Hopefully, we'll see you for the next episode.